Hey, I'm Courtney. I make videos on living a more intentional life and in this video I'm going to run you through how I'm decluttering, simplifying my phone so I can hopefully be a bit more productive with it. The first thing that's going to make the biggest difference to your phone is obviously your apps. I want the apps on my phone to only be what I need, have as few as possible so it looks a lot more clean and simple. The first thing to do, go through your apps, delete all the ones that you downloaded and never used. I tend to download an app, look at it once, maybe, and then it just sits on my phone for months and I don't touch it again. So go through, find all those apps and delete them. Then go through and delete the apps that you do use it, but you tend to use the computer or the website version. So for me this is things like Pinterest, Canva, any online shopping apps that I have. I never do online shopping on my phone, I always do it on a computer. So any apps like that, go through and delete those. The ones that you know you don't use on your phone. Even though you use the website, you don't use the actual app. Delete those off your phone. Next, a probably slightly more difficult one. Delete any app you don't want to be using. For example, I've decided I spend far too much time on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. So what I'm doing is deleting the apps off my phone and using Safari if I want to go on any of them. I'm too lazy to do that, so I'm probably just not going to be on them very often. But I'm deleting those apps because I don't want to be spending all my time on them. Same with, I've got colour in an app, I've got word thing, make the words out of it, I've got apps like that. Basically just games and stuff that I waste time on that I'm not that interested in playing anyway. I just do it when I'm bored. So delete all those apps. And then have a look at the apps you've got left and see if there's any doubles. So if you've got three different note-taking apps, if you've got a couple of different ones for writing lists, things that you could probably condense into one app. So for example, I've got Evernote on my phone. I don't use Evernote, I use Google Keep. So put my notes from Evernote into Google Keep if I needed them and then delete Evernote. So once you've done all that, you should be left with only the apps that you use. So now you can organise them. So I'm organising mine and put in my four main ones that I use every single day. Put them on my first screen and then put in the rest of them in folders on my second screen. And I'm just organising those folders by what they're for. So if I use it for YouTube, if I use it for contacting people. So the second thing that will probably be cluttering up your phone, that's definitely cluttering up my phone, is photos. I have about 800 photos on my phone, which I know people have more, but that's too much for me. So the first thing, go through, delete any photos that you know for a fact you don't need, the ones that are blurry, ones that are just screenshots that you took to show someone or that you needed for five minutes and then don't need anymore. All the ones that are just obvious, you can delete, get rid of them, do that. Next thing, any photos that you screenshotted for reference, so things that you're going to have to come back to at some point, it's maybe birthday present ideas, Christmas present ideas, it's maybe something you want to look into, something you want to do, things like that, put it either into a note taking app if you use one. So for me I would put it into Google Keep. If you don't want to do that, just make an album on your photos of all your kind of reference, sort of, your reference photos. If you go through your photos and you've got loads of photos that you do want to keep but not necessarily on your phone, then Put all those onto a computer, a hard drive, iCloud, Dropbox, whatever, whatever you want to save them. You should probably back them up on something, but just put them all where you want them to be. For example, all my photos are on my computer and I'm going to be getting a hard drive to put them onto as well. So I've got a backup, but I don't like having them all on my phone. I prefer to have them all on the computer. And delete any photo albums that you don't want that if you have an iPhone especially, they just tend to set them up for you. I know I've got like random Snapchat albums, Visco albums, like things like that. Delete all the ones you don't want, any that you've maybe set up a while ago that you don't want. Delete all of those. So you should now only have the photos that you really want to keep on your phone. You can organise them in albums now if you want to. I'm just going to keep them all together because there's not really that many of them. The last thing that I'm going to go through is my messages. So all I'm doing with that is just deleting any message threads that aren't ongoing, that aren't likely to come back up or you don't need. So for example, I'm keeping the message threads 
to me and my boyfriend because I text him every day, there's no point in deleting that. But then ones that are promotions or ones that was just a quick text to someone, things like that that don't regularly come back up, just delete all those. The phone should now be a lot more simplified and easier to use. If you like this video, you might like the video I made about how to spend less time on your phone. So I'll have that link on a card and in the description box. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one and I will see you in my next video.